Hey guys, Rob from the off -grid Tiny House. Just checking on things here. Um, I'm going to release this water um, from the bottom now that it's been kind of cleaned up because we have um, some thunderstorms brewing outside shortly. So we're going to release this crap. And this is the water that was kind of nasty nasty from the fire so it's all gonna go and uh, we're gonna get discard that and start over with a fresh rainfall so um, so right now I open that valve open that valve and right now that whole compartments gonna empty outside the tiny house and get rid of all the scum and chemically stuff that was in there I left the window open here to let everything air dry, so I'm going to keep that open, keep that going. Um, Stu High Tech Guy recommended uh, buying one of those little pump sprayers, clean out my shower with baking soda, and I really think I'm going to do that because um, alternate use, guys, for that one of those, you know those weed sprayers? That it's like a plastic container with a little pump pressure handle and a spray. I'm, I think I want to buy one of those because dual purpose. You can use them for cleaning. You can use them for fighting fires to some like small fires. And you also can use it as a bidet uh, if the TP runs out and it should hit the fan. So yeah. And also a shower too if you're really poor boy. So, lots of uses, so I may invest in one of those, so stay tuned for that. Alrighty guys, so we got a wish package that has come in. I'm just going to turn down the TV here a little bit. Uh, the box looks pretty beat up, so we're going to see um, how everything made out here. This is a new weather station, USB powered by the way. And uh, we'll see what exactly we got. So there's the USB cable. There's the manual. And that's about all she wrote. So this is the... Let's see if you can see this. Color screen barometer weather station. Um, barometer range. 800 to 1100 pascals um, weather forecasting wireless transmission 100 meter wide area the moon phases alarm outdoor temperature indoor all that fun stuff so let's take a take a deeper look unpackage this bad boy see what it, she looks like um, This can run on batteries or it can run on USB. I will be running it on USB um, for now, for sure. Now I gotta pull this plastic off the screen because it looks awful. Looks like it's almost used, the used type of thing here. There we go. solves that issue so I will have to grab a power pack and see how much juice this thing actually runs on because uh, well it looks like it's a fairly long cord which is nice and right here in the back is the 5 volt hookup and I can just actually leave this plugged into the uh, the off-grid setup so I don't even need a lithium pack so that'll be cool and here's the receiver very similar to uh, what I got going on so I'm gonna go for the number three on that guy when I do that um, digi-cool digi -cool. Uh, instructions it's probably pretty man pretty standard 
Uh, for now though, let's plug it in just to maybe set it up. Um, let's see. I'm gonna throw it on just one of these little crappy power packs. We'll plug this guy in, turn the power on. Ooh, nice. Very nice. Oh boy. Indoor temperatures. Oh, Fahrenheit. Says it's 84 in here. Not likely. <laughs> Hopefully it's not a dud. Um, channel, forecast, outdoor, I gotta hook up still because, you know, uh, that's just not gonna happen. Let's go to mode, see what that does. Out time, or I gotta hold mode. Oh, month, date, year, zone, moon phase. <laughs> Pretty cool. Um, so this one did not come free, believe it or not. Um, that's a flaw in the design. Look at this. The cable is holding it up as opposed to the <laughs> that's dumb you gotta kind of hold it like that then okay well whatever so cool that will be used in the future then guys this combo um so basically it's gonna save me batteries um i don't have to use batteries for this guy anymore which it was a, normally a hog but I still have to use them for this guy here, the outdoor sensor. Um, it's just what you have to do. Um, so, not too shabby. But uh, I won't hook this up just yet because I want to use up my old one first and go from there. So, at least I know that's going to work okay for us. Not too shabby whatsoever. Here, I'll pull this cord right out of there. Good. Good stuff. So, well, I didn't get that one for free on Wish, but hey, I tried. <laughs> Alright guys, looks like we're overvolting. Um, what I'm going to do is leave it like that and just run the batteries down a bit um, and then come back and turn them on in a day or so. Uh, we got storm coming uh, and I'm still draining the bottom tank and it looks like there's still a little bit of scum in there. I got a scum line built up along the top here I don't think I'll be able to get rid of that to be honest but once this is completely drained out I'll uh, close it and let this thing fill up uh, quite a ways and then just start using that water at least if it didn't remove all the contaminants at least it's diluted quite a bit of it and like I say I'm only using this stuff. I'm not drinking this water. It's for, for cleaning and so on and so forth. So eventually, the I'm sure that stuff will get through the system and go from there. So all will be good. So uh, yeah, um, that's about it for now. See you later.